So today boys and girls we're going to install a network switch. Um, now if you guys don't know I'm running a 100 10 by 100 network switch and uh, it's running on a TP-Link cheap crappy whatever you want to call it. Um, now I have got 350 meg virgin broadband so this is going to come in handy because one um, it's a gigabit switch instead of a 100 megabit switch. <sighs> so let's find something to get into this with because uh, I can't do it with my finger. Oh yeah, okay, look, there we go. So anyway, this will allow me to have the full connection on my uh, bedroom because Virgin Media Broadband routers are rubbish. And you have to implement your own little way of doing things. I've got a Wi-Fi extender, but that will be, you know. So, quick start guide. Disc, you won't need them at all. This is auto install. Um, plug and play. You've got your free pin adapter. Uh, and you've got the switch itself. I believe there might be something underneath. Is there anything underneath? Let's see what's underneath. It has got. So you can put it into the wall. So that will come in handy too. If you want to mount it to the wall, basically. So I've done a test already, as you can see, speed test on there. 83 down, 34 up. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's the test. I don't want you guys to get my IP address. But you can probably get it anyway, but. I'm not letting you get it. Um, so you got your mains there. You've got your four ports here. Uh, the first one is obviously to stick the internet into. You know, plug it like that. Um, my back's aching while doing this. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys. That I'm not as thick as people make me out to be. So... <sighs> Just going to uh, untwist this. Everybody's banging about outside. It's like really crazy. Um, so that goes into the mains. And we'll do this all together because I can't be asked. Where is it? That side. There we go. DC in. Now I will just get the other switch. This is where everything needs to be turned off because obviously I've got a dog bowl there and we don't need to uh, get women in the water. So they go there. So this is the original switch. Pretty much the same setup. Number one is for the internet, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to just quickly, they're different, oh they are different mains, I was going to do a hack then, I was going to plug that in regardless, right so the internet one is here, so it goes to number one, and this is like I say this is self set up guys, this is like literally will all connect itself, And this is quite a heavy duty, um, heavy duty one this time. So I should have moved the camera, but I can't be asked. I put the switch there, take that one out for now, plug it back in, and we should be good to go. Um, showing activity already, so that's already on. So we go to wireless technology, I love it. Um, we go to speed test on there, do another test. And we should, already connected, ping of six. Speed, I can't. I'm not sure old megabyte, maybe I've set it up wrong, but. Depends on the server you get connected to. 
Come on. Love when they do the speed tests. But the best way, actually, if you guys didn't realise this, the best way is to download a Ubuntu distro, distro on Linux. Ubuntu download. mouse gone it's there so you download Ubuntu because it's quite a hefty file to be honest you just hit download you want to donate no I don't want to donate nothing there we go right so a two gigabyte file say about 16 minutes Hopefully it's not going to be, unless my internet's lagging today. It shouldn't be. Downloads. There we go, right. So, it's now starting to pick back up. We're getting 5.8 megabytes a second, which is about, I mean, 6.1. Six four six six. So I think it needs to get to about thirteen. I can't remember one hundred percent. But anyway, two point five gigabyte file in six minutes. If you want to transfer things across the network, it's going to be quicker. So successful upgrade. Very quick. Very simple. Only took me seven minutes, guys. See you later.